What's up everyone? Welcome to your first PHP tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to hook up PHP on your computer and how to actually use it. Now, I'm not going to be teaching you guys the history of PHP or what you can do with it or anything like that because I don't feel like it. So, I know a bunch of you guys already saw some PHP code on the internet and I was like oh that's kinda cool so you tried to type in your notepad editor and it didn't work that's cause you guys are idiots and you don't know anything but I'm gonna change that I'm gonna teach you some stuff so listen along very closely cause you're probably gonna mess this up go to google dot com it's a website type in x a m p p and type in search the first thing says Apache friends click it now this will give you a list of all the different PHP's you can download most of you will be clicking Windows now click it and download it now it's very easy to download you just gotta click next like 40 times if you've ever downloaded anything in your life then you can figure it out and if you can't figure it out then just stop watching this video and go do something else so once you have it downloaded you're gonna have this little thing right here called the control panel double click it mine's already open so when you double click it you're gonna get something like this that says Apache MySQL this means that you downloaded it right if you can see this now if you see if you go into your notepad editor and you just start typing PHP it won't work under this right here where it says Apache you have to click start and when it says running you're good to go that's what it stands for the running stands for start making some PHP I know you want to think that but it actually does but you're not ready yet pay attention pay close attention because I know a bunch of you guys are gonna screw this up too click on file then click on open now click on my computer and find your hard drive you're gonna have a folder in it that says XAMPP now you wanna click that now you see all this stuff right here but the one you're looking for is called HT docs double click that and this is where we're gonna be making all our websites so make a file and save it as a PHP file I saved mine as tester page PHP make sure it's in that exact location now Oh, what the heck is this? Oh my god. That's embarrassing. Anyways, here's what you want to do. As you see, you can start typing PHP now. Oh man, are you kidding me? Well, oh well, I'll review it anyways. Go to that, go to your hard drive, HT Docs. and click on your page now you can start typing your PHP but once you go to run it won't show up so here's what you need to do and this is the same for everybody go to HTTP colon backslash backslash local host backslash now whatever you saved your file as I saved mine as tester page dot PAs PHP. So after that, click tester page.php. Click go. Now, as you can see, this is my PHP that you are too dumb to create right now. So I'm going to be teaching you guys that next time. So again, whatever you saved your file as, go to localhost tester page.php 
and substitute tester page with your name. Now, once you get this, as you can see, I click echo what up. I can type Greg, Fred, just save it. And now, when you refresh it, you got your PHP right there. Now, all of you idiots who were trying to type it in Notepad before and wondering why it wasn't working, hopefully I just solved your problem. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to be teaching guys how to use some PHP. So watch it. See ya.